Welcome to Mexico City, everybody. It's expansive. More than 20 million people here. Whether you fly in during the daytime or the nighttime, you get quite a view. Now, I don't like to take a car in Mexico City. I prefer the Metro. Now, the history. This is the Zocalo, where the Aztec pyramids used to be. Spanish knocked them down and put up this complex. Now that church is from the 1500s, I believe. Now the people in Mexico. This type of interaction is not uncommon. Now, you know, it's not 100% like anything in life, but overall, you know, these kids are so cute. Going out at night, the weather in Mexico City is super, super. Must have been a warm day here having the kids in the fountain. Now I like to talk and walk, walk and talk. So I usually speak English when I'm talking to the camera, so you'll get some looks. Oh no. Now the Mexicans are very sensual people compared to people in the United States. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but they really are extraordinary people. Now, if you like to shop, Mexico City is a great place to shop. There are lots of these new malls all around Mexico City with all the various name brands. And usually the prices are pretty good because right now the dollar is approaching 20 to 1, 20 pesos for $1. So the dollar goes a long way in Mexico. It makes it a good time to go to Mexico. And again, if you like to shop, night markets, day markets, markets everywhere. In Mexico, it's amazing. People just get out there and they sell. And a lot of people do arts and crafts and they'll sell what they make. Other people buy and resell items but they are very industrious and they're very hard working. But the prices are usually excellent, but you still have to bargain. That means doing your homework and not paying the first price that comes along. Now again, the kids down there, I, I think they're adorable. So I like to interact with them whenever possible. Oh, she dropped her ball. Let me give you a hand. Catch. Oh, now the food. Okay. Uh, I usually don't gain weight when I go to Mexico, even though I eat like this, surprisingly. I could eat all of those. Cafes, sit down, have coffee, have uh, soup, have drinks. There's so many wonderful places just to rest your lazy bones. Again, eating, another essential ingredient to traveling to Mexico. It's not just tacos and whatever other type of Mexican food you think. Actually, Mexico City has some of the highest rated restaurants in the world now. Now, mezcal, tequila, other type of alcohol are wonderful. This is Zach. I met him and great guy. He owns this place and he said, come on up to the bar and he treats. He uh, tried to get me drunk. And of course, snacks, treats, street foods everywhere. Thanks, Alma. And you've got Edward Scissorhands. There's all these type of people who are just trying to make a buck. So they dress up in costume. And of course, street food. You can't go to Mexico City unless you have street food. And of course, more cafes. Late night cafes. Just don't have any caffeine or you'll be up all night. And back home down to the metro listen if you haven't been to Mexico City yet you gotta go it has everything and I'll be showing you adios